Introducing Academia One to One, a helpful guide to get you started with your mobile device rollout. Before we get started, we recommend you assemble an iPad leadership group. Step one, vision. It's important to have a vision. What does your teaching look like today? What could your teaching look like in the future? Where do you want your iPad project to be in 12 months and beyond? Our vision for the iPad project was to really revolutionise learning and study with our sixth form students, to provide them all with a one-to-one -one device. We thought the iPad was the ideal device for that, something that could transform learning for them and provide them with 24-7 access to quality learning resources. At the Dustin School, we're serious about equipping our students for 21st century learning. And so this means that they can access teaching resources 24 hours a day, seven days a week, wherever they are and wherever they're going. And we see iPads as central to achieving that vision. From the start, uh, when we talked to the academia team, we thought they were on the same wavelength. They had a really good grasp of the pedagogy that, that's essential to make this work. Um, and I think they really gave us the confidence that we were approaching it from the right angle. Um, and consistently we got good advice from them and I think it really helped motivate us that we were going about things the right way and it would be a success. Step two, planning. We will work with you to plan your iPad project, setting up meetings with our best schools and colleges so you can see how others have introduced the iPad to their students. Some areas to look at in your planning could include integration of the iPad with your existing systems, Wi-Fi, IT support and mobile device management, teacher confidence and classroom management. Step three, preparation. When you're ready to move forward, we're here every step of the way. We will review and audit your infrastructure and security, construct an acceptable usage policy, and we will meet with key stakeholders. So one of the most important things for making a project that's successful is having that infrastructure in place. Um, and a lot of people, the, the physical infrastructure is the one they worry about. Uh, we got a good audit of the Wi-Fi from Academia and it reassured us that the Wi-Fi system we were putting in, uh, which was managed, would cope with the additional thousand units it would eventually have on it, uh, which is, is very reassuring. Um, we also looked at other systems, a mobile device management system to, to maintain them, which we now have in, in place for year 10 and 12. Um, and I think having that gave us, again, a lot of confidence and reassurance that the system would work. Step four, training. We can help you get the most out of your Apple products. Our hands-on workshops are designed especially to meet your needs. Crucially, we'll work with you to ensure a sustainable training program is in place. All of our trainers are certified by Apple and are teachers themselves. They understand your challenges and what's important in the classroom. Step five, communication. Key people should feel involved in the project, so we'll arrange workshops and events for staff, students, parents and governors. We also help you to set up your own dedicated one-to-one -one payment portal and iPad website. So as well as our normal website, we have an offshoot called iDeferris.com. Um, on that website, we have a lot of information about our iPad projects and one-to-one -one scheme. Um, Academia gave us a lot of good suggestions for that. So it includes things like the frequently asked questions, insurance protocols, acceptable use policies. We've also had things like App of the Week, links to useful websites the students might find. Um, and we use it as a blogging tool, as a, a marketing and, and publicity machine as well. Uh, and that's been really effective and it's had several thousand hits worldwide. Step six, pilot. This is where you trial the iPad with staff and students. We give you loan units for a set period of time and organise additional training if you need it. We encourage you to set up a drop-in centre where your staff and students can discuss their iPad usage with members of your iPad leadership group. Step seven, launch. When it's time to launch, you will be in safe hands as we will work with you every step of the way by holding launch days to distribute the iPad, training staff and students, running a parents' evening and giving access to online resources. So when we got our iPads in, we wanted to ensure that we gave them out to Year 12 and Year 13 on two separate days to, to minimise disruption. Um, the academia team helped uh, the arrival of those in batches with serial numbers all ID'd, so it was very easy to roll out and, and get the protocols right. Uh, they gave us some advice on streamlining our distribution system. Um, I think in the end we were able to give out over 100 iPads in an hour, and by the end of that hour the majority were already on the Wi-Fi network and students were already using them for learning. Academia have supported us in training uh, by providing sessions for our staff before and after school, enabling them to access the latest resources and to support them in teaching and learning. What's really clearly important to us is that learning and teaching underpins everything that we do with the iPads and Academia have been central in allowing that to happen. The students can now take their learning anywhere, anytime. 
To find out how academia can transform your learning environment, contact our mobile solutions team today.